Hey everybody, I want to build some computers, so we will be playing PC Gaming Simulator DOS 2, and I'm going to build at least one computer. There has been a local fire that has been ruled suspicious, but today, it's a new day, and a new shop. It might not look like much, but it's all you have since the old one mysteriously burned down. Mysteriously burned down. Read the note from Uncle Tim to find out more. See, baby, this was a suspicious local fire. Police are looking for witnesses. So I guess you've seen the old shop or what's left of it. Sorry, I wasn't there to take the edge off the shock, but I've got a meeting with the insurance company to discuss the fire. Apparently, they think it might have been delivered. What a crazy idea. Anyway, it's lucky I had this old place as a standby. I managed to rescue the PCs I was working on before the fire, and I've moved them all here. You'll still need to fix them and collect the money for the jobs. If the customers question this smoky aroma, Smoky aroma. Just tell them you had to solder something. Totally, people don't know what solder smells like. I also knew you'd need a shop computer, so I've sent one of mine over. It should have arrived by now. Check the delivery area at the back of the workshop. Fair warning, it doesn't work. But it might just need a new GPU, so I've sent one of those over too. The best money can buy. Anyway, get it fixed up, plug it in and check your emails. You're welcome. Oh, I should also mention that I had to borrow $15 this morning for breakfast. $15 this morning. 15 15 15 15 dollars $15. If I've learned one thing in life, it's never meet with insurance agents on an empty stomach. Uncle Tim, Uncle Tim. Okie dokie. Move to the delivery to boxes and select them to collect. See if we can't find delivery boxes. Oh, there they are. This game is so laggy. This game is so laggy for me, my god. Okie dokie. We get, oh, very nice. Look at this. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. Very nice. It's not overclocked. We don't know any of the, uh, Specific names, but pretty good. 10 gigs of RAM, very nice. 7900 megahertz. Core frequency, memory frequency, 1188 megahertz. Wattage, 320 watts, not too bad. Max multi GPU, one. That's interesting. I think it's because all of these new GPUs are like multi core. Wow, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. Let's not ask how Uncle Tim managed to get a hold of one of these. <laughs> Completely accurate. Now you just need the PC that he sent. It should be somewhere in this corridor. This is where PCs and cases are delivered, and where you need to place PCs to return them to customers after completing a job. Oh, let's check you. Pick up the PC. I guess this is... Oh, there it is. Pick it up. Different. Place it. This PC needs to be fixed. Left click on the PC case to put it into build mode. Left click. Alright, remove the side panel. Yes, I agree. Interesting. Usually you don't have screws on the side like this. Mine doesn't. Mine does not. Mine has them on the back, and then they slot in. This PC is missing a GPU. Thankfully, you've just had a very good one delivered. Let's install it to rebuild the PC. Can I... I can. Okay, excellent. Remove the PCI. There we go. Remove the screws. Remove the PCI cover. That is necessary. Yes, 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 yes. Let me 
zoom in here? Can I zoom? I can zoom. Remove part or component. Wow, you need to remove two of them. That's a lot. That's a big boy. That is a big, beefy boy. Open category. Alright, yes, let's slot them in. From the side, baby. Oh, look at that. Nice and locked in. Okay, cool. I was wondering how he looked around here. Okay, left click on the install button to access your inventory. Removed components. PCI lock. Interesting. It's not actually where we want to be. monitor. 
eight, you're not going to do a full one. Wow, that's a lot of corrupted files. Let's get rid of them. Oh, we're cleaning it out. Oh yeah, so nice. Great job, this job is complete. Place DC. Alright. Now if I exit, will it just automatically pick, take everything off? Apparently it will. That's weird. I thought I would have to, you know, unhook everything. Now let's just go click and hit. Yes, indeed. Now, we 
we want to overclock here at the South Wirral Country Club. We host a very popular cheese and land soiree every year, which sees our members face off against one another in classic titles such as Ultimate Strike Simplics. I'm not inclined to brag, but I should mention that last year I entirely owned the notoriously provisioned Duke of Norfolk in the final match. I'm sure you can therefore understand why my personal computer needs to be in tip-top shape. The GPU is fine. It should be as I paid upwards of $5,000 for it. Pleb. But the CPU could use a little more oomph. If you could entice it to run faster, I'd be eternally grateful. Yours in anticipation, Robert Ferrier, OBE. Yes. Okie dokie. Let's work on you, baby. We need to overclock this customer's CPU, which means making the CPU run faster than its stock frequency. Connect the cables. Yeah, 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 yeah. EVGA. Keyboard. I'm glad all this stuff is wired. I hate using. Absolutely despise. Just like the monitor. Uh, the BIOS, yes. To access the BIOS, you need to hit the F2 or delete keys. It boots up. Okay, yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, if you don't press one of the keys in time, then PC will boot the OS as normal, and you'll need to restart the PC. Try again. Now you can actually just hold it. Yep, there you go. Excellent. This is where you can see the PC's hardware settings and tweak them to add more power. Yes, you can. Next tip. CPU overclock. It's just that easy. I mean, to be honest, the stuff is really insane now. Alright, this menu allows you to overclock the CPU by increasing the base clock and ratio. The voltage setting is used to stabilize the PC, but you need to be careful not to use too much, or you could damage the CPU. Accurate. Okie dokie, next tip. CPU speed shows how fast the CPU runs and is a function of the base clock times the ratio. So here, it's 100 megahertz times 40 to give it 4,000 megahertz. You can tweak either value to change the overall frequency, but normally use the ratio for big changes and the base clock for smaller ones. I would agree. Let's see how quickly. Increase the CPU core ratio to 44. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. Increase the CPU's voltage to 1.35 volts. As the CPU runs faster, it requires more voltage to remain stable. But don't go too high or you may damage the CPU. 1.35. That looks good for a stable overclock. Click on the settings tab so we can apply these new values. Okay. Now, where is my... Oh, okay. Uh, this is what I was looking for. The CPU. That, that's what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, apply. Changes in restore. You know, apply, restore, blah, 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 blah. Okay, if the PC can't boot because the settings are too high, then the machine will lose screen and reset itself to default settings. Yes, 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 yes. Let's pop it back. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Double click to open the OCCT app. Note that normally you'll have to install OCCT yourself using the USB stick. Thanks so much, buddy. The OCCT app can be used to stress test a CPU and GPU after overclocking to check stability. It can also show if a CPU is getting thermally throttled from running too hot. A CPU will not run efficiently if it gets too hot under load. To begin, left click continue. And we shall start the test. We're waiting. 26, 25, 24, 23. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Congratulations, the CPU remained within its operating parameters in the test. This means it has a stable overclock and can be returned to the customer. Cool, 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 cool. Take the PC back. Overclocking is compl complicated and you can damage your hardware if care is
is not taken with settings. We recommend you experiment with overclocking in the game to see how far you can push the limits. Remember to use OCCD to test their stability, which you can download using the USB drive found in the tools section of the inventory. Seem too bad actually. The 
This seems about normal. Connect to the reservoir. Connect. Ah, oh, in and out. Interesting. And then we're gonna pop it to here. Ah, oh, good. Okay, okay, okay. That actually doesn't seem that bad. Now let's install which coolant to fill it with. Ah, uh, what? Okay. Interesting. Let me, can I go back? I want to see what, ah, I can't see what color it is. I think, what do we think? Pink opaque. I think purple, clear UV. Yeah, it's gotta be what we're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okie dokie. Power. Let's, okay, here it is. Oh, I see it's cycling. It's gonna cycle through. Cool, 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 cool. Place the PCI lock and side panel, then make sure the PC can boot. Okie dokie. Let's install. Let's go back to all. No, I feel like none of this. Oh, there it is. I gotcha. Removed components. Let's get the PCI lock. Install the side panel. Screw. Screw. And that should be it. I don't think we need any more PCI locks. Let's pop them out. And then we need to plug it in. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll just say goodbye for now.